Well, hello, boys and girls. It's when I feel like it o'clock. I'm Pearl of Wisdom, and you're listening to my NHL Pearls of Wisdom, P-Pal Picks Edition. P-Pal Picks, where I bring you fine picks in video form five days a week. And uh, for NHL, for the NHL. I will be heading over as soon as hockey is over, which will be a while. I'll be heading over to my other account. So you might want to go subscribe over there. Look up BPAL picks. I'll put it as a link in the bio here. And uh, you can go over there and I'll be doing tennis. Uh, mostly tennis. Tennis is my big one. You make lots of money doing tennis. If you like tennis, head over there. But I also will be doing baseball picks, uh, UFC, uh, all kinds of stuff like that. So it should be fun. Um, so we're going to go into our picks for the 11th of May, which... There's only two games, but I'm going to do them for you anyways. And then we're going to look at how well we did on the 10th this past. The 11th is my birthday, by the way. Yeah. So I, it's going to be a slower week this week. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to go, I'm going to go into the Perlocopter myself. I'm not going to drive it. That's Melissa and Hernandez. They drive it. Well, I'm going to go sending out all the, uh, for the people that subscribe to my channel, like you right now. Right when you do it right now, subscribe. Just sit down, just press, just watch. Makes you feel like. Feels good, doesn't it? Feels good on your insides. Yeah. Okay. Anyways, yeah. Anyways, see, so you did that. Now I'm going to send you a My NHL Pearl, or, uh, Pearls of Wisdom necklace or a uh, Perlo ring or a bracelet of Perlo which I'm going to go send you to you in myself this week in the Perlocopter. So that'll be fun. Um, I'm in the basement of my Seattle apartment right now. Tomorrow I'll be in the upstairs part with uh, Steel and the prize. Peyton on the radio. From 3 till 5, I do it five days a week, the NHL Pearls of Wisdom show. We're going to talk picks. We're going to talk playoffs. We're going to talk... Everything there is to do about hockey. Those guys are great. We have laughs. It's so much fun. The, there will be frolic. There certainly will be frolic. Okay, we got two games. Uh, we got two games, and I'm going to uh, do those two games. <laughs> I just realized that for my live, I forgot to disconnect my stream, but I don't think it's going to matter. Okay, let's go to the two games right now. Right now. Y'all are on the edge of your seat. Boston versus Washington. Interesting game. Boston's on a back-to-back. -back. They played Rask against the Islanders last night or tonight on the 10th. Uh, so they wanted to make sure that they, they, they beat the Islanders to take this third position so they can play Washington in the playoffs, in which case they will be. I think Boston's going to want to win this game. I just think on a back-to-back, -back, it's pretty tough to beat any team. Uh, however, we'll see who's going to be in the lineup for Washington. As it is, though, I'm going to go with Washington money line here on this one. Um, I don't blame Boston for trying to get that third spot because I wouldn't want to play Pittsburgh right now. I, I think I'd try my hand with Washington, especially if Washington keeps on playing Vanacek and they don't say why, if something's wrong with Samsonov, I definitely would want to lean Washington here in the playoffs. That being said, I just think on a back-to-back, -back, Washington has fresh legs right now. They'll probably pull this one out. The other thing, uh, this game, uh, they're going to have Swayman in. You can get under six right now. I would be on that. Boston very seldom plays over six. Uh, and since they're going to be on the tired side, they're probably going to want to win this one defensively. Not to mention Swayman's got like the ridiculous 1.68 or something like that. Like he's only allowing a goal and a half on average per game. So, and Washington maybe without Ovechkin, the uh we don't know. Kuznetsov doesn't look like he's going to be playing. Uh, so they're going to have some offense out of their lineup. 
probably the total is where you want to go here under six. And uh, I'll go Washington ML for light, a lighter bet. Uh, Vancouver versus Winnipeg. Um, Winnipeg can't score. You go the under. Just under. Just Winnipeg can't score. They score every... They have an L score for like seven days, seven games now, something like that. Just getting one, two goals. I don't know. It just totally dried up. They lost Ehlers and... Anyways, Hollabuck will be in net, and he hasn't been playing the greatest either. So... It makes me want to go Vancouver, maybe puck line here, spread. But Winnipeg should win this game on paper. They should win this game. Holtby will be in. Are they ever going to win a game? Seriously. Uh, I'll go with the total here. What's the total? Yeah, under five and a half. They're giving you pretty good money on that. Just because Winnipeg can't score, Hollabuck will bank that Hollabuck's going to have a good game. It'll be tight, and we'll take Vancouver on the puck line that you know, is paying half your money. I would say that's probably your best bet there. Okay, so those are our picks for the 11th of May. If that's all you want to be part of today, that's fine. I totally understand. It doesn't hurt me at all, not even a little bit. You go off into your land, and you be you. You be your best you out there in the crazy world. Okay, <laughs> let's go to the, uh, let's go to our picks from last night, see how we did, because we're getting close to the end of the season. Yesterday, we were up 32 pearls. Uh, we have the Kings and Blues under. Looks like that's going to come in. Uh, we also have the Blues on the ML which could come in. That would be nice. Uh, that would put us, I think we had the under was medium. So we're doing pretty good there. I already figured out. I'll tell you at the end how much we're up, assuming all of this comes in. We have the Golden Knights money line and we had the over. So this will at best be a wash and unless they can score over three goals in the third period, which is possible, I suppose. But uh, Flyers versus Devils. We had the Flyers ML for medium, and we had the over, which was a push. So we're up a little bit there. We had the over here, and we had the Canadians, so this was a wash. I really should have went the over higher than I did. Let me see what I what did I have the over on. By the way, can you guys see what I'm doing here? Yeah. What did I have the over? I had... Where's the Oilers? Yeah, see, Jets versus Canucks over. We didn't have that. Uh, where the heck is the Oilers pick? Oh, Canadians over, over Oilers ML pays over six. Oh, it was for one pearl, so it was a wash. So that was a wash. Uh, Bruins versus Islanders. We nailed this one. We had the Bruins ML for medium and we had large on the under. So we're up on that one. We had the Panthers ML and the under. No, did I have the lightning last night? No, P Panthers ML and the over. Sorry, that was a wash. We lost here, but it was only a unit. I didn't like this play at all. Actually, yeah, I only had the over for a unit. So we lost a unit there. We had the, uh, we lost here. We had the Canes and the over, but it was only for a unit. I didn't like the game. And this was big. We had the stars for medium and the over for medium. So we were up two pearls for the night. And uh, overall, we're up now 34 pearls for the season with two more games to go. That's pretty darn good. Uh, it was a tough season. And uh, for us to be up 34 pearls, their cappers generally are not up that much. As a capper, 
or as a person, if you're betting and you're up at all, you're doing well. It's not easy. The books are not lined up for you to win, believe it or not. Bookies don't make, make a living for a reason. So if we can be up 34, 35 on a half season almost, too, we still had lots of season left on an 82, we're doing really good. So I highly recommend you get over to our Patreon there that I just showed you. Uh, I give you analysis every day. I give you like a little essay on each pick and why we pick them and all that stuff like that. Plus, we're kicking butt at tennis. Whew. Uh, actually, we are for the season, but haven't been lately. I, I, the, clay, the clay season for tennis has been kind of iffy, but uh, um, baseball projo from BPAL, from BPAL picks, B Joe Bork, projo we call him. Professor Joe Bork has been doing very well for baseball. We're up on that too. So I highly recommend you check it out. I'll give you a month for free. And if you uh, stay with us till the hockey season next year, whatever you're paying, whatever one you choose, which I recommend the $25 package, which I'll give you the free month on, you will always pay $25 for the rest of your natural life as long as we're doing it. If I go up to 100 which... I started out at 15. Next year will probably be 30. Uh, you will always pay the $25 price forever. So, highly recommend you stay. Now, if you leave and come back, you'll have to pay the bigger premium. Okay, that's our full 42%, boys and girls. That's all I have to give. I uh, hope you enjoyed this fine pick frolic. I certainly did. I love it when you guys come there. I love your comments in the comment section. Give me some comments in there. I love chatting with you guys. Tell me what you think about the picks. Who do you think is going to win in the playoffs, each series, all of that. Anything you got on your heart you want to say or talk about or whatever, I'm there. You'll find I'll answer you all the time. Not answer you as in you're asking me a question because I find that when I do my show, the people watching my show, it's very, very good hockey people, man. They know their stuff. I'll tell you that right now, and I'm sure you do too. So tell me all about it in the comment section. Have a great day, everybody. Lots of love to you. Okay, bye.